Kakito made it this far open. They get the crew for a madaming dashes on the side of RSG Philippines, especially if they pick up the Lancelot. So, though, Karina. Okay. Ooh. An interesting pickup here for RSG Philippines. No? They do have a good source of physical damage to so Brody, no? but uh, this is very heavy on uh, the magic damage considering that Uranus as well deals uh, magic mm -hmm. damage. Uh, it's going to be a fun time uh, just build Athena's shield. But this may be something similar to what we Weiss no mm -hmm. other day. I think it was the Demon Slayer Karina that built a thunder belt in the direction of tank items so it is still a possibility but reptar quick uh quick analysis on the early game what can we expect entering game number four uh nxpe and rsg both have the right tools to up the tempo pero because of them having the poquito alam naman natin yung burst damage niya nxp can play a fast game because if they play a fast game with a lot of skirmishes it doesn't always have to lead up to a kill uh. Uh, papadamihan mo din yung opportunities dito ni Hayes na uh, makapakuha ng mga stacks niya uh, for the Sicilian as well in the mid lane. And at the same time, kung hindi sila maghanap ng skirmish, they can just did what they did in the previous games at maglagay sila ng mga pressure sa gold lane. Yeah. Let's see if the pressure will be real for RSG Philippines. Match point na para sa NXPE. Let's enter the land of dawn for game number four between RSG Philippines and NXPE. Things are bound to get heated up. This game number four. RSG Philippines, I think, um, sobrang ego contest talaga nila yung mga turtle dito. Of course, again, if you allow H2 to get the turtles without a problem, magiging problema talaga yun kasi uh, mas mabilis sila mag snowball the RC Philippines will be smart about it you know then they went straight for the lethal wanderer as well tingnan na lang natin yung passing ng dalawang team kung saan sila magka-clash and RC Philippines really quick on their rotations no? si Demon Kite nandun na agad malapit sa gold lane and it's just the power of the Karina especially in the early to mid game napakabilis talaga mag clear niyan now Aqua responding around the gold lane and no feather there strike available. Uh, quite an early uh, rotation coming in from Aqua, but you love to see pressure. Yep, dahil sa lamang na nakuha ni Aqua sa mid lane, actually one level ahead already for Apple Tisha. Tsaka wala namang minion wave sa gitna, pinauwi niya dun si Gaze. So it made sense for Aqua, Arvi Calderon, to go for that rotate upside. And this is a Demon Slayer, uh, a Demon Slayer actually Karina emblem here, similar to what Wise showed first the other blood. day, you know. But first blood off cam Ooh. goes to the hands of H2O, Mr. John Paul Salonga. Let's go to the bottom lane. Magkakampun ng trade of Don. It is a 1 for 1 and a 1v1. Demon Kite, H2O, Sino Manana Egg. Mukha, wait lang, ah. Oh, John Paul Salonga with an outplay. And H2O goes in for two kills early on. Para sa game 4 na to, Salonga 1, Karanto 0. Sigurado ako ma-update yung tali na yan all throughout. Great duel by both teams. In the end, dahil si H2, meron pa siyang retry noon. He was able to get the burn damage onto Demon Kite. He almost was taken down by Demon Kite. Ganda ng pinakita ng dalawang junglers. Man. These junglers, what, talagang the best of the best already in Seaball 2022. Kung uh, sino mang matatalo sa series of third place, respectable yun. Renza going in uh, towards Kenji. Consecration is still available, pero mapagsecure ng turtle. Ooh, they are in Philippines. An immediate played. kill para kay Demon Kite with a reset. And they're gonna steal away the cap. H2O, pinanood lang mangyari yun. Now RSG Philippines, they are ahead a little bit in terms of gold. Uh, and as I said earlier, RSG Philippines, talaga nila yung turtle. They're not gonna allow H2 to get that freely. And important din dito yung mga ginagawa ni Alpha, his positioning, his timing with his abilities. X factor yan para sa RSG. Blue oh, Demon Kite! Bigla ang pinasok, even with the flicker burn out of Cadenza. You gotta respect the damage from this Karina, man. Uh, Milis ng papito dito ni Demon Kite. And able to really maximize Shadow Assault for the burst damage. 
Nata timing and din niya yung dash so ngayon RC Philippines oh, Shadow Soft once again Dance of Blades blocking a little bit of damage pero hindi mo mag-block ang bat's impact and men alam mo sobrang lethal ngayon in the demon card I'm not quite sure if he's gonna transition to a tank build but Kenji nahanap dito ni H2 and ni Ureshi and he's gonna back off a lot of burst damage coming in from this combo Mirror push para sa bottom lane for NXP dahil ang Grabe yung bawas ng RSG Philippines. Halos lahat buong energy shields sa lane ni Donut na si Mot ng RSG Philippines. Ang daming gold din nakuha nila. Kita-kita din sa numbers natin. Close to a 2,000 gold lead for RSG PH. This is game number four. A four of the lower bracket finals in the Super 2022 National Selection. Amen. Demon Kite at 3 and 1. After losing that 1v1 against H2O, nakabawi siya sa ibang lanes. They could potentially turn this around if they go in for an early kill on a donut. Uh, Clock of Destiny pick up. Sino nakakuha nun? Okay, Demon Kite has secured Demon the Kite. grab. Cadenza might be in trouble. Turtle, 3 4 HP, but off cam kill once again with the hands of H2O. But that means Turtle will turtle. be going to the hands of RSG Philippines. Adjustment by NXP dahil alam nga nila na RSG Philippines mag-focus talaga sa Turtle, H2 and NXP adjusting para ma-pressure nila yung kabilang side lane. So sa bottom lane sila mag-push, meanwhile sa RSG PH naman sila nag-focus sa top lane. Turret has been destroyed. Blue a mirror or a cross map destroyed. play here. Nice play coming Ooh, in from Light. Nah, he la pa balik and the clip immediately goes down. Donut is out for 12 seconds and RSV Philippines very decisive on that play. This Light and uh, yung Aqua Light combo. Sobrang malaking bagay ito para sa RSV Philippines here in this game. Farsa, the Ruby. Perfect set of opportunity for Aqua and so far he is making the most out of it. 1-0-1 one, one on the scoreline. We got Demon Kite and H2. Perez made 3 kills. Demon Kite made 1 death now. But both turtles of the game so far going to the hardest. Oh, Better than Air Strike plus the combo. He just na bumagsak dito si Kadayan. Zach, he likes na nga tayo sunod. Hinahanap siya ni H2. Pax impact, Pax feast. Tatama, pataan on with his first kill of the game. And RSG Philippines, they're gonna take a one for one. Thanks, word traded out. Demon Kite, sinubukan niya kunin yung purple buff doon. Actually, great sanguine claws. Galing K. Daniel Bataan on the set up of RSG Philippines after the Union para sa Sicilian to set things up for H2. But the few more kills that are next to the Evo, the fans are still at the kill na kuwan nila. But pa tulad din ng RSG Philippines. Calderon with a feathered airstrike to just clear out a lot of those uh, minions in the mid lane. Alleviate some pressure five seconds from now. Turtle ay lalabas na RSG Philippines by positional advantage. Cadenza. Muntika nang mahila ni Katipon doon. And now, Turtle spawned. Nahanap ni H2. Shadow Assault. Papatok si Demon Kai. Makakapag-jump pala yun. And Ureshi will stop that fight. And now, next play, Evos. First time in this game. Meron silang magandang start or positioning dito sa Turtle. Inubisa na ni Kenji. Dito sa split push niya. Sino man nanalo dito? Towards HP on this turtle, Demon Kite in a nice position for a possible retribution steal. Pero sabi ni Yelly Hayes, Bataan on with a bat piece and bat impact. Tango yung Josh hindi magkoconnect. Katipon, nagkamali doon sa kanyang flicker play and in the back lane. John Paul Salonga, H2O, nagahanap sa isa. Ruby goes down. Katipon goes down for the side of RC Philippines. And now next day, Evos will be establishing their own control on this turtle. I feel like this will be an uncontested turtle for next day, Evos. Good discipline by both teams sa RSG Philippines nung nawala na sila at hindi na nila finorced yung turtle take. We have to commend the H2 for what he did. He could have comboed Demon Kite. Pwede na niya i-combo yung si Demon Kite kasi nandun si H2 sa may shrub sa gitna. Katabi lang niya si Demon Kite but Demon Kite was not in the shrub. Instead, hinintay ni H2, lumapit unti si Iyakno and nung si H2 nag-dash siya across that wall, Closer to the purple buff of RSG Philippines, na burst down niya sa iyak no hitishan and din niya na patay sa iyak no, but that forced the reposition para sa RSG Philippines. 
Conceal play from RSP Philippines. Nahuli ata si Cadenza. Lima, dikit-sikit. Toy na part memory para sa isa. And Ureshi has to split split away. RSP Philippines with a successful team. They re-enter the fight. Oh, nahuli pa! Double kill para kay Iyakso. Tatlong tao na lamang natitira. Donut, Shadow Assault. Medyo napasobra ata. Dito si Demon Guy. And here comes the Lord Salonga. H2O with a return kill. It's a 2 for 1 exchange. Unfortunate timing dun sa Shadow Assault Activation ni Demon Kite. Saktong sakto, pagpindot nun ni Demon Kite. Oh! Back to the play! Go back to the backline! Nahanap niya yung backline at si Aqua ay mapapauwi. Munti ka ng maubos ang RSG Philippines doon. Oh, pakito sa harap. Pero si H2, dumerecho sa likod ng RSG Philippines. Bumunti ka na niya, ma-burst down si Kenji. John Paul Salonga, every step of the way, trying to find the turnaround point. Para lang matapos na ng next play, iwas ang laban na to para sila ang pumunta sa finals. But this is still a close game. NXPE at RSG. Demon guys, Mr. Caranto looking for an opportunity in si Katipon ay napapilit, mapaflicker ata pala, hindi, mapadash lamang pala yun ang ating mga... Si Ivo sa pasagog! Ang Uranus! The first damage! Coming in from the Ivo's! Nagugulat ang RSG Philippines and right now, Lord ang call ng NXPE dahil sa pick-ups na yun. Venice Castro! Adenza opening up the opportunity for the kills on to Villa! At si Katipon. At ngayon, NXPE nakakuha ng Lord RSG. They have to defend this tournament life match point. Who will win? Genji, is lang maging yan. Isang pero ito, Demon Kite might be going in for a kill here. Pero men, nasabi mo na, this is match point for NXPE. Hindi pwedeng magkamali ang RSG Philippines. They need this game to extend the series. RSG PH. Surprising many in this tournament. Sa improvement pinakita nila. Will this be their last game for Seabol 2022 National Team Selection? Contra sa isa pang team na marami na surpresa sa improvement din nila with three rookies, Oreshi, Don't, at Encadenja. Speaking of, NXPE, naaamoy na nila. Nagwawagi nila. Pero matatapos ba nila ang laban dito ngayon? Miracles are bound to happen for RSG Philippines. Gusto nilang makagawa ng isang milagro para maibalik ang laro. Nagawa nila yun kanina, pero may na-rest back ang next play Evos. RSG Philippines, nagarap na ganong klaseng oportunidad si Aqua at si Ayakno. Isang death pa lamang ang nauhuha ng dalawa pag pinagsama-sama mo. So may chance pa rin naman ang RSG Philippines. In fact, it is just a 4,000k gold lead. But they need to respect the playmaking ability of Cadenza and Gilly Hayes in this, uh, in this time around. Then, inhibitor turrets na lang ang umaharang sa pagkapanalo ng next day Eagles. Oh. RSG Philippines don't count them out just yet. They made it this far. Pero ngayon, mahirap ang pang-comeback dito ng RSG PH. 4,000 gold lead for next day Eagles. Looking at the items, Kaka Destiny, Lightning Trunch, and then an Ice Queen 1. Para kay Yeli Hayes. At ang daming slots na dito na lumalabas ang side ng next play Evos. Which will make things easier para kay H2, para kay Donut to deal the damage that they need to deal. And para din sa Sicilian dahil kung napang lahat sila ng slow, mas mahirap iwasan ang mga abilities ng Sicilian na yan. Meanwhile, for RSGP8, full tank build ka rin na nga nakita natin dito para sa RSG, Aqua and Iyaku. Main source ng damage dito para sa RSGPA. RSG Philippines walking around their own jungle as five. Alam nila na hindi na nila kaya makipag 3v3 lang. Kailangan lima sila para manalo. Forced to defend their lanes as well. Lot the jungle camps na aagaw na rin ang next day Evos considering na may control sila over the map. The Lord 
is already up. Pwede nilang kunin yun, oh! pero may nahanap silang isa. This could be massive. Winter Strunch yun, pero oh, Feather Air Strike. Tumama sa tatlo. That's the first laser for the team with Kai. Double kill para sa karina, pero mamagsat nilang isa. Si Ureshi na lamang at si H2O ang natitira. Aqua gets first to sound by H2. Ureshi still alive. It's a 2v5. Can they actually do this? H2 is still alive. Ureshi is still alive. Ah, kapag si Split. Recovery in level of 18. May immortality pa. Demon Kai, hindi pa kapasok muna eh. Nahanap si Yaku. Immortality is up. Can they actually go for it? A legend. Dari, Jan Paul Salonga is just clearing them out and this might just be a double kill. Nakatrade up pa sila. Demon Kai still alive. Phoenix free. Another 1v1 with a great one. Nagstickeran na at nagback off na lang. Insane plays from both squads. Grabe yung exchange ng dalawang team. Kala na na yung next play Evo si Demon Kai ang mauhuli pero nakapag winter front dyan siya. At saktong-saktong feathered airstrike hit galing kay Aqua. Great response by RSGPH. Pero hindi na wipe out ang NXP dahil si Salonga at kay Lagronio. At Lord pa nga napunta sa NXP. Ureshi and H2 keeping NXP East grand final dream alive. But RSG Philippines as well. Kudos kay Demon Kite and Iyakto for holding on. Can they do it again? Makakadepensa ba dito ang RSGPH? And that is a tough question to answer. A 2v5 scenario, but H2O with a 9-0-1 scoreline on this Paquito is able to hold it down. And of course, Ureshi as well, thank you a lot of damage. The Lord is up top. This might just be the final push, Red final fight. How can RSG defend this? Delicado buhay ni Kenji. Aqua, feathered airstrike already committed. This point, close to 30 seconds of a cooldown for that ability. Red team base turret has been destroyed. Mid lane, Red team. Back line, mid lane na lang inhibitor turret. They're gonna go for it first. Ngayon, ubus na ang mga inhibitor turret. Now, RSG Philippines, the Oreshi has to go back, half HP here. I think RSG Philippines have successfully defended their base, but right now, it is exposed and ready for the taking. Next Lord, NXP Discipline pa rin, kahit na wala nang taring RSG Philippines. Hintay nila, next Lord. Smart minion wave management, ang kailangan dito ng dalawang squads. RSG. If they can somehow push out the waves, get enough room para makahabot sila sa Lord, they might just be able to completely turn this game around. Pero dahil sa pustuhan ng mga tanks at frontliners ng RSG, concealed play, it's a 5v1. Cadenza, mabubuhay nga ba dito? Nabuhay with 50 HP. Pero sabi ni Iyak, to wait lang. Torn apart memory, immortality, swap. Cadenza, Oreshi, nasa backline, makakapag-flap. Papasok si Oreshi, pero makitigil ng stun ng isang Farsa and that is just high tension pickoffs from both sides what a call by RSGPH immortality pop onto the Kufra and then RSGPH no flicker for Iaknu 35 seconds bago mag spawn yung Lord saan pupunta ang RSG Philippines ano ang magiging call nila that's one less immortality to uh, worry about para sa RSG Oh man, high tension, 17 minutes in. 17 minutes in, it already feels like parang 40 minutes na tayong nandito. Na sobrang tensionado, oh, man, no? ilang laro. And men, I just gotta say, both teams deserve to be in the grand finals, but only one can come out. RSG Philippines, if they secure this, we are going to game five. But for NXPE, securing this means securing their grand finals appearance against a Blacklist International mamayang 6pm. Kalmanisius muna tayo mga kabatid. Buffs daw muna. Lord is already up. Para sa fans ng dalawang teams, for NXP fans, for RSG fans, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Pero may Lord fight. Mukha, mangyari di. Happy HP para sa Lord. Reset. And the evolved na Lord, parang boy mode, pero binalik ba? Oh my God, the damage from Donut.
and feathered airstrike mukhang tatama lamang sa isa si Kenji ay magtatangke na marami bawa si Knight para oh, pag-recall pa pero si H2O nasa likod tatry i-burst si Demon Kite pero naka-antikras masyadong makuna ang isang uh, narina na yun so they just one. go for Iyakno Iyakno has no flicker he is in trouble oh, the Kenji trying to find some time but impact na tama at bumagsak si H2 a shutdown kill for RSP Philippines pero shutdown back to back sinabihan din ni Bata Anon it's a jungler for a jungler and now it is a 4v4 yung dalawang jungler na wala pero bukas pa rin yung lord na to para sa NXP tignan natin kung tapak mo doon ang RSC Philippines para i-contest to ha walang jungler sa mapa para sa dalawang team pero lalaban nga sila kadesa na naman no retry war flicker is forced out of Genji si Oreshi nasa backline mahuhuli niya kaya dito si Iaknu buhay pa rin naman oh tumama sa amin oh, si Light like, tatawin na papagsa oh, it's another great play coming in from Bataan on up in Tisha forces out another death from RSP Philippines so 4 seconds pa to avoid si H2O 5 seconds naman para kay Demon's Kite itutuloy na next play Evos and Lord at mukhang libre na ang Lord na ito good attempt galing kay RSP Philippines Again, they needed to do that. The, the surprise factor again from the NXPE front line. Kahit nakapag-feathered airstrike doon si Aqua, it just wasn't the right position just yet. Athena Shield, bu na buo na dito ni H2. Pero na din Ice Queen Wand, si Oreshi for the glue. At susubukan muli ng RSG to H Dumetenta. They will be a full five-man squad. At... They still have their Farsa, the Feathered Airstrike. Makiklear ba nila yung minion wave? Mamamanage ba nila ito? Who will go to the finals? Or will we go to the finals and see next play Evo's advance? Or will we see a game number five? Game five or grand final. This is the final fight. Sanguine claws it. Apple Pisha with another great Red setup here. Hero and the Uranus is in the huh? down. The Lord is still alive and the base is open for oh, next play yeah. Evos. A double kill for John Paul Salonga. Inuubos na nila. And next play oh. Evos will go to the grand finals of Seaball 2022. Salonga, Barcarce, Bataanon, Vergara, Tan, Castro, Lagroño, and Dizon. You will be going to the grand finals of the 2022 national team selection. Congratulations to a well deserved victory next play Evos. Pero GG, well played then to an RSG Philippines squad that improved so much from FPL Philippines season 8. Good luck to them. GG's to them. Congrats ulit para sa next play Evos. NXP and RSG Philippines, we talked about their Renmar. Both of them deserve to be in that grand final slot but only one team will be able to face Blacklist International later on 6 p.m. RSG Philippines, they had a dominant start in Seaball 2022 but after their series against Blacklist, it went downhill for, the, for them but then again, we still have a lot of things to congratulate uh, RSG Philippines for third place yes. for Seaball 2022 national team selection powered by Smart and of course an exciting preview kung ano bang pwede nating makita sa kanila sa MPL Philippines Season 9.